Hi you guys and welcome to today's episode of The Daily Grind. In today's episode I want to give you some updates as far as where I'm at because it has been so busy with home improvements. I think it's that time of year. I've been struggling to get back into the sewing room but I'm here to do a couple videos today. So this is the update on Vogue 9212 that I'm working on and this is my denim jacket. Remember I said if you haven't viewed my previous videos then maybe you don't know this but I use a lot of old jeans cut up to make this jacket and right here I put the sleeves on the other day and I always feel that the big four is very very generous with sleeve ease I'm not going to put in sleeve heads here sleeve heads are just something that gives support to the sleeve cap I'm just going to leave it the way it is but I'm going to try to steam out some of these it looks like gathers but it's actually there really are no puckers in there, but I just got to steam that to make it look a lot better. Uh, I really like how it's shaping up. I did the collar and boy, I felt really good because my points really came out great. And if you've ever sewn a jacket and you sew a collar on and you have to sew to the point, you know that if you don't do it right, you're going to get a nasty pucker. Well, I didn't get any pucker, so... You know, it's been a long time since I sewn a jacket, so I was really happy about that. But this is where I'm at, and I'm going to use on the inside, because this is just a test muslin that will end up, I think, being a wearable, wearable garment, I'm going to use a really pretty um, autumn-themed cotton on the inside, because two layers of denim, I think would just be too thick. And then I'm going to use the denim just for the collar portion to line it, but again, the cotton for the facing. All right, so I am headed down home stretch with this. Another thing that I've been working on is this jacket right here. And if you follow my personal Instagram account, you have probably seen this, but this is my purple denim jacket and it's hard to see i think you know you might not uh see the nice purple color because of the lighting but this is purple i used a beautiful variegated thread here almost finished with this i just need the jeans buttons and the buttonholes on here so that's where i am with that the next version of this because you know i am on a jean jacket kick is going to be this denim that has been in my stash forever i wanted this for pants but i've changed my mind i think this would make a great jacket and i will partially line it with this beautiful print right here now the vogue jacket that i just took off this denim muslin that is this pattern right here and i've shown it before and i'm making this version right here I showed you five fabrics before, but I just felt that these fabrics were just, there were just too many colors in there and they weren't in the same color family. So what I did was I revamped my colors and these are the colors I am using for that jacket. So I have some that are pinks and purples and then the accent for the uh, piping is going to be this black and white and then some of the flying geese on the back of that jacket that i'm working on for the class i'm taking is going to incorporate this gold but what's nice is it's hard to tell right here this gold has a hint of pink in it as well so it really pulls all those colors together so that's very exciting this was the alternate print i picked out i don't think i'm going to use this i think it's going to be the other black and white that i showed you uh, just a, a second or two ago. All right, so that's where I'm at. And I am trying to think of, um, I'm getting into swimsuit mode. And and also, um, I want to make a couple more dresses. I have some really great fabrics that I got from Bruce at So Batique. And they've been aging in my stash, of course. And they're probably a year or two old. So I'm headed down to... Uh, that way too. I got so many projects going at once and in the next video segment I'm going to take you on a little video trip of my sewing room. Some of you know that I do like doing home improvements and I'm talking you know ripping out floors, pulling down drywall, ripping everything down to the studs and joists and building everything back up again as well as doing some type of carpentry. So what you see here looks really nice but in actuality my sewing room is like a complete mess so i'm gonna kind of take you on a video tour because i need to get back into some home improvements and i need to really get my sewing room back the way it should be in a very organized fashion so all right so that's going to be in a couple days maybe i'll if i have time maybe i'll do that tomorrow but that's where i'm at and that's it for today. All right, you guys, thanks for watching. Until next time, happy sewing.